Okay, so. What level are you on? Four? Uh, we went back up, aren't we? I thought we were on level four. I thought it said level four. You love the Baldur's Gate 3 streams? Good. I wish the combat engine was more like this one, but what are you going to do? If they combine the combat engine with the, with the, the options that you have in Baldur's Gate 3, it would be a really good Dungeon of Dragons game. This looks like a bad no. A no meeting. We've interrupted. Where are they? I don't see them. Yeah, oh, where are they? They're to the north. Oh, I saw. I saw you gave a uh, disparator the code. Hopefully he enjoys that. The gnome lord. Oh boy, that's a lot of gnomes. Where's your fireball when you need one? Um, too soon. Too soon? How soon is it? We gotta be getting close to five. I guess after that five fight. Yeah, this fight might push us over. It's a lot of gnomes, though. Uh, thorns? Definitely gonna drop the thorns in there. There's a gnome king and a gnome lord. Oh, I didn't see the king before, I saw the lord. Gnome king. Why do they all look the same? Should be gnome clones. Isn't that kind of racist, thinking all gnomes look alike? No, in this case, they all do look alike. I mean, look at the... So you're going to throw down some uh, spikes? Yes, definitely. Definitely going to put the spikes in there. Oh, it can even go up in elevation, too. Awesome. Okay, well... The doppelgangers? No, they're clones. Haptiles. They spotted me, little bastards. Get behind cover and let them come. So the thorns even go up on stuff, which is cool. These all look the same. I'll remember. Oh, I made it. Well, okay, you didn't make it, but oh, that one's going. You see somebody? Apparently, you can see Hurricane. So the Gnome King's going to be fairly healthy coming out of there. It looks like he's only going to take one more hit at most. I'm 
know where he's going. He's looking for a shortcut. Yes, a shortcut. Knock him back into the thorns. That would be an evil action. Ah. Do it again. I don't think you can, though. Oh, maybe you can. Does that get you your free actions back, too? Apparently it does. said cautious. Meh. It's okay. It's that king that's going to be the issue. Everybody else is pretty wimpy, so... I can't see the king. Yeah, because he's in one of those spots. Although your uh, little mini lightning fireball thing should hit him. Mini little fireball thing. What the hell is it called? Um, it's a level two spell, I think. Burning hands? No, level two spell. Isn't that like a flash or something? The only level two spell I got is an acid arrow. Oh, what's, okay, maybe it is the first level spell. It's the one that's like, it's a little two by two space or square, and it does electrical damage or thunder, whatever one of those. Shit, what the hell is it called? Thunderclap? Yeah, Thunderclap. No. No. Thunder is uh, centered around the caster, and uh, Shatter you Shatter. can cast on range. Shatter is the one. Shatter is the spell. Yeah, Thunder is main for pushing people away from you. It's Shatter is for doing It's like I call it the little mini lightning fireball, because that's really what it is. King made a saving throw. You're going to want to move farther away if you can, Jeff. I cannot. Okay. King's got to kick the crap out of you, just so you know. That's why I got the extra hit points. Yes. Wizard taking. Who's attacking right now? Hurricane, considering an action. Reaction. Who's attacking? Uh, King. Uh, Gnome King. Ah, I saw it. It's in the text. Uh, only get one block. Why is he going after Hope or Hobo? So Hobo's a killer. I would go after Hobo too. And don't this serve blah 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 blah? Evil gnomes hate dwarves. I guess I don't know. They hate everybody. I thought. But Jeff is the easier target. That's what I understand. Touché. That means to kill them in French. Yes, that's what it means. Kill them in French. Ah. Oh. See? Touché. That wasn't a touché. That was a thump. So Rocket just decided it's better to sleep in here right now instead of out in the living room. So... must have wanted some human company. Either that or he just wants to be in front of the fan. <laughs> I think that's what it is. It's not that hot, but... It's actually not hot at all. Oh, 
Mr. Gnome King. You see him for that? I can't see him from around the corner. Natura and Joe Ah! You have them now. Two left. If he doesn't see anybody, that gnome's gonna die. Closest one to the door. He probably won't die coming through the thorns. I mean, he'll take a decent amount of damage, but I don't think he'll actually die. Guy, you can't hide and do ready at the same time or same turn. Up, oh. went up high. Okay, sneaky little bugger. Yes, he is. But he's a bad shot. Get him, Hobo. Show him who's the better shot. Obviously not you. <laughs> you're supposed to come. You're supposed to show us. Show him how bad he is, Hobo. You're not supposed to miss. It's not really a fair comparison. Like he's shooting this tiny little target, and then Noam has this huge target he can hit. Yeah, but, but again, it's about showing you how how you're a better shot because you're hitting the smaller, harder target to hit, while he's missing the easier target. So it's making you look better, right? Can't stop coming through either. Push him over. Push him down on the thorns. Can you do that from there? I tried. Oh. He's out of reach. Ah. Scaffold on fire, then. not getting good damage rolls. Well, four out of that one. I guess it's half, technically. Par for the course for me. Just where it hurts most. The light cross. Oh, it was a critical okay, hit. Never mind. I was trying to figure out why you get two rolls with crit. are down.
So the king didn't have anything? No, just crossbow and leather armor. Wow. I guess this is their treasure room. Oh, just a second. Or king? Well, unless he's a smart king and had it locked up. Trap. You think you have problems? Bada is stalking me and it is creeping me out. I said trap, not crap. Mm, pretty sure Vern's heard you say crap. She thinks she saw her. She thinks I said crap, but I didn't. I said trap. Vern is never wrong. Yeah, she's wrong quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Is there got a couple more ingredients yeah but not the ingredients we actually need is it no some of them Question is where are we going next? Well, looks like we might have a couple of ha hallways to take a look at. Yeah, there's a hallway to the south, to the west, and to the north. I'd say we go west first because the dungeon doesn't go too far that way. Yeah, that way. Trap. That's just a chest around the corner. It's probably full of all the good stuff. Here. Enemies behind us? Daphne Bellow behind us. At least two. Jeff. I thought it was going around it. Jeff. Why wasn't it this? I thought it was, it was disarming them all. Uh huh. Working on it. So just a couple of scrolls in the chest? Yep. Wow. One scroll. Wow. Okay. Ogre. Is it an ogre? Ogre clubber. And a goblin. A uh, goblin. Okay. Guys, okay, so he wants to beat him up. Oh, hang on. Um, Charge raging. him. Charge him, Hurricane. Use your charge ability that you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> I can throw an axe, but I would appreciate an arrow. Yeah. Uh, bold. Yeah, bow shot for a sneak attack. All right, hang on. Eighty hit points for the ogre, maybe. We don't know. We haven't seen this guy before, so. And he seems to be the named guy, so he's probably special. And he's not named. He's just got a special name. Spe he's got a club. Yeah, he's got a special he likes job. To party. He's a clubber. Yes, he's a clubber. He's into all the cool drugs and stuff.
like Coca-Cola. What? The cool drug? Coca-Cola's the cool drug? Since when? Coca-Cola hasn't been a cool drug since, like, uh, the 1910s. <laughs> when it still had cocaine in it. It never had cocaine in it. Yes, it did. That's how it got its name. I thought it was from, like, the Koch brothers. No, totally spelled differently. No, it was from cocaine. Yeah, it was, that's where the coca in Coca-Cola actually comes from. It means they had cocaine in it. When did they take the cocaine out of Coke? Uh, when they realized it was an addictive drug, drug and they actually wanted to not kill their people or kill their customers. I guess the sugar in it was enough. No, oh, the sugar came later. The high sugar came a little bit later. Oh, there was no sugar in the Coke at first? Well... There was, but not at the levels that it that it would come up to. So, so it was a lot healthier at first. Uh, no, it was never healthy. It's never been healthy. It was a medicine first. It was yeah. It was marketed as a because it's a tonic with cocaine in it, and tonics were the all the rage back in the turn of the century, back in the turn of the century between nineteenth and twentieth century. Tonics were the thing, and. Coca-Cola was a tonic because it had cocaine in it with fizzly, fizzy stuff in it. It was fizzy, so that's why it was a thing. And eventually they turned it into a soft drink. So. Yes, it gives you tons of energy. It lets you focus really well. Oh, I haven't used Moonbeam yet. And still hit. Though I can't get in melee range of them. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I kind of put that in the wrong spot, didn't I? Well, you can just stay outside of it and just be beyond ready. You'll do the same amount of damage. You don't have multiple attacks yet, so it's not a huge deal. Full disclosure, I have owned stock in Coca-Cola since the 1990s. <laughs> Hey, Olas, welcome back. What sort of thing you need for clubbing baby seals? What, a, and a, a large ogre named Clubber? I don't know. He's not really wearing enough clothes if you want to go out to club some baby seals. I would say. Why? Well, it's rather cold up there to be going up and do that. He's got insulation. Just like the walruses do. So the moon be my can move now. I'll move it back one. Oh, that's my action moving the beam? Wow, okay. So I'm not moving then. How come uh, Mr. Ogre isn't taking damage from the beam? Or is it just on his turn? Might be just his turn. There's something more in the background. Oh no, he climbed up there. Okay. Oh, okay. So I can in step of in front of the clubber. You should be okay. Yeah. You'll die anyway. There it is. Oh. It doesn't like you. You'll get us all killed. Uh oh. Mm. 
Head over. Sorry, Hurricane. I'm good. I'm okay. Just a really crappy damage roll. Oh, my turn. I'm getting good damage on that stupid hop out one. One rolled a one and a two on that damage. She killed him. I know, it seems like hobgoblins are your kryptonite. It seems like it. Oh, God. Hurricanes, too, apparently. Okay, hey, hobo, steal the kill. You mean secure the kill? Steal. He's a, he's a rogue. It's a steal. See? I guess I should turn the beam off, huh? I was right, this was behind us, right? Yes. Oh, now I have to go north. Another trap. Jeff will take care of it. Is Hobo going to disarm it this time? Well, technically, he disarmed one of them last time. Did the wrong one. I'm a bad person. We need to make a t-shirt that say, I survived Jeff's school of disarming traps. And then have a big fireball in front of it or on the chest or something. Or poison. A person in, a person in the middle of a fireball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seems all to be skill checks. Okay, just or storytelling altars. See a dwarf head. You see dwarf heads on these altars, still oozing blood, impaled with daggers and a ritual sacrifice. Sorry, Hurricane. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't think we should pray here. I don't think so either. I hear something big to be. Oops. Earth elemental Lord. Lord, all right. Begin praying to your god at the defiled altar. You sense you have strayed from their path and feel their something, something, something. Not their happiness. Oops. It happens. Not everyone oh, can be a skilled clerk, you know. So it's just him. So far. And probably should be should be okay. Um smack. Oh, he's a legendary. Just noticed that. Oh. Well, semi legendary. Only he's a silver instead of a gold. 
probably shouldn't have got so close. Resistant to piercing, it only takes half damage. Immune to poison. And you got a magic bow too, right? Bobo? Yes, he does. Okay. Yes, he does. Plus one. Yeah. Plus one short bow. Switch things around, that's all. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. no. It's just, uh, just make it sure you have a magic bow so the resistance is actually really is to piercing. Some special arrows. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm gonna have to load them next time. Ow. That's not fair. Even with my block. Ow. You okay. shouldn't stay close to him. I thought he'd go after you because you engaged him first. That's what, it's, <coughs> that's what it's supposed to be, you know. Oh, it is? That's what the rule is. There's a rule? There should be a rule. There is no threat level or taunting in this game. There should be. How did he know my armor class was lower than yours? It's not right. You should disengage and get some I'll be uh, fine. distance. I'll be fine. I know what to do. Nice. For <laughs> poor damage. It's resistant to slashing too. I have no magic weapon. throw rocks at him, he'll be fine. he get really annoyed at you because he thinks you're throwing your cousins at him, that's all. Even the dead could hear you. Acid works. Yep, quite nice. Yeah. What wow. the hell? Wow, that crit. We're going to lose this fight. That was not good at all. That was not good. So regu regular hit for 20, crit for 43. So you had 48 hit points. <laughs> Spells, Jeff? No. <laughs> Saving throw, so. what I get for praying in an evil altar, I guess. Probably. Will you summon that thing? Yeah, I think that was me. 
Because I looked at that second table and then he popped up. Okay, yeah. Someone, some, sometimes there is evil stuff like that. You would think that the dwarf heads would have gave it away, but no, I had to look at another table. Changed my gear so I couldn't use the phone. Ah, whatever, I screwed that up. Well deserved. Thank him, Hobo. You can do it. You got a dodge rider, though. That, you got that plus nine, which is vicious. Plus nine, plus that damage. Oh, that's horrible. step to you. Oh, you do? Do I? I didn't know if you had it or not. I didn't see you. I don't think I'd seen you use it yet. I have not. Okay. Truly formidable. Well, that'll help somewhat. You hear the wind howling? Oh, that's not a good sign. Okay, I'm not running that way any further. Hurricane's feeling lucky, right? I don't know. Come right in. Another spell cast. Oh, you burn them all already? Shit. Can't be great. And I'm gonna die. Your comrades will save you. <laughs> ah, this is going so well. Mrs. Gimpy's home. No dogs greeting her at the front door. She's going to be disappointed. You miss, but still do. You have that feat that allows you to do damage even though you miss. So that's good. longer dying but you will be don't worry wow well potion of healing is only 2d4 so it's not that great it's not one of those. can you disengage Careful, you in. Shit, shit, shit! I didn't realize I was in range. Oh, well, don't let me down. I, I didn't. I saw the diagonal stuff and I assumed too much. I screwed up. Not to let Matt let it matters too much. He's gonna kick the crap out of all of it anyway. As soon as I run out of healing spells, I gotta die anyways. No, I I was gonna actually heal you this round. I was gonna heal Hurricane and I was gonna heal you too. But unfortunately, yeah. I wasn't paying attention how close I was to him. Got about his reach. Jeff, you can kill him. You can get it done. Yep. 
Well, you have to do it this turn, or otherwise I'm dead. No, you can make your saving throw still. You'll be fine. Yeah, he's got more than 20 hit points. Sleep's not going to work. No. He's a little too high level for that. Sleep you use on hobgoblins and gnomes. You don't use it on earth elemental lords. I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah. And I was dead. So. Should I just reload the game? Yeah. Unless Jeff feels confident. How confident are you, Jeff? Um... Uh... You have a stick in your hand. <laughs> Don't be too picky. You got a stick in your hand too. And go to Diddy for you. <laughs> oh, good job! <laughs> oh, look, there's a wraith and a flesh eater. The wraith has a special health bar too. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we'll be reloading this. We have to cast a spell of Scape's Safe Scum. So the, the lesson there is don't run that direction when running from an Earth Elemental. The real question is how are we going to beat this thing? Because he's pretty tough. You Not don't. Yet. I just don't have to touch the table. Don't touch the tables. Okay. And then he won't come. The answer is not yet. Later. Ah. <sighs> Tables of lava? Oh, most definitely. Steaming hot lava. I don't know. Is there any other types of lava? Cold? Cold lava. It's cold lava? Well, yeah, I mean, cold when lava cools off, you know. It's, it's no longer steam. When it's stone? Yeah. Eventually it just cool, starts cooling off to the point where it doesn't burn you when you touch it. At that point it's not lava anymore? Well, it still is. It's just not because it because it cools off on the outside, but it stays warm on the inside, kind of like a hot pocket type deal. So as long as you don't bite through the edges there, and you'll be fine. What do you think they got the idea for hot hot pockets? <laughs> melty cheese, yeah, right. As long as you don't eat the melty cheese, you'll be fine. All right, I'm not touching the table. We can touch the tables once. Uh, no. I have a bad feeling about this altar. I don't think we should pray here. Some hot okay. pockets last weekend. They're not good as I remember them. They have changed since they originally came out back in the late 80s, I think. They are not the same. They are not nearly as good, I don't think. Want me to take a look in the corner? Yep. I'll take a look in the corner. I'm sure it's nothing. Um, which way were the undead? Uh, these crushed spider eggs look like green oatmeal. Some of us have hate spiders. <laughs> uh, they were... I think I went this So don't go that way yet. At least I think that's... Yeah, that looks like the way I went. When you tried them in 2005. <laughs> yeah, the, like I said, the Hot Pockets have not really been good since, I would say, the early 90s. They changed the formula or something. They changed something on the the pockets themselves. I don't know about the stuffing stuff, but the, for sure they changed the, the pockets. Something spawned behind us? No. Not yet. It's rocky. Unprocessed. How could hot pockets not be good? Because they use crappy ingredients. They, they changed some. Like I said, they, they added stuff to the, the actual pocket and they, they just made them not good anymore. Yeah, but a hot pocket's more about filling you up than actually eating something that's tasty and good. Yeah, but that was the only appealing thing to them was whether they're tasting it good because they're not really that filling. Cost cutting for maximum corporate profit, which is pretty standard for foods. You know, the 
they spend a lot of money developing and hopefully they you know are successful and then you know once they're good and I don't know. But that's the way food's been going for the last few decades too. Everything's getting smaller, more expensive, smaller you know, servings, that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's standard. We're going to find out Taco Bell is an authentic Mexican food. Yeah, Taco Bell's never been authentic Mexican food. What? <laughs> it's never been authentic. <laughs> What's tacos? It doesn't mean it's Mexican food. These spider eggs were smashed. The goo is still wet. Maybe someone passed by here recently. So not the tunnel with the undead, the tunnel here. There's a hole in the wall too. Is there a hole? Can't go through it. Oh, you can't go through it. I, I guess there will. Uh, it's a spawn point for an ad when we are around the corner or something. Whoop! Oh, spider. It's the angry spiders appear. Yep, and it's behind us at the hole. Careful, hobo. You're Even something more hobo. crawling Whoop. on the ceiling. Hobo. Hobo and turkey behind you. Oh, look at all the spiders coming in. What taco? That's a blonde. Hey, we can throw some tacos There's on a it. place like got to the bus from college and was able to get a lot of food. Hey, move. What yep. the hell? Too slow. Whoa, it seems whoa. like if it starts to see you and you move, uh, dwarfs seem to be too slow. Yep. Hey, Leon, welcome back. Happy Friday. There's so many on it. All of them. Oh. You come out to have fun so your PC likes the games. Okay, that's good. You don't have Happy Friday? I'm sorry to hear that. So, should I drop a thorn somewhere behind us by the two, or...? By the two. Right behind us, I would say. It seems to be four behind us and four in front of us. Okay. Or even more behind us. Uh, I think it's four and four. Currently, it's four and four. I count four and four on the top, so... Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, uh, you're there's another two. I'm counting ten and... Ten and... Oh, so shit. four and okay. six. Okay. Your PC broke down. I know the feeling, and it sucks. I totally sympathize. Okay, so thorns behind us. Make sure they can't escape them. White Castle. That's American cuisine, is it? Cuisine. Yeah, that might be the wrong word, but yeah. So, I've never eaten at a White Castle before, but I can only imagine how horrible it probably is. Are any of these franchises any good? <sighs> Depends. Depends on what you're looking for, I think. Some of them have some of like, like Taco Bell back in the 80s wasn't so horrible. Again, it's one of the situations where they have to use lesser quality product because of cost for whatever reason. And Taco Bell, you could see where the quality went down over the years. I mean, like I said, back in the 80s, it wasn't horrible. And then through the 90s, as I experienced it as a, as a college student and stuff, it was... It was a it was an okay food to eat at one, two o'clock in the morning when you're drunk and coming down. <laughs> it was okay for that. But since then, no, don't touch don't don't touch Taco Bell. It's the, the I don't they don't even use meat anymore. It's some type of pro byproduct stuff that's crap and you really don't want to eat it. So yeah, they don't even use real hamburger anymore. So I would not Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And Pizza Hut, same deal. Pizza Hut used to be decent back in the 80s. And then in the 90s, they went somewhere and it got super greasy. And not sure what happened there. And they had, they started adding all the little side dishes and whatever. And Domino's did the same thing. Um, so 
you know, de again, Domino's was decent back in the 80s. They're, eh, they're better than a Pizza Hut these days, but not by much. Papa John's is ridiculously bad. You know, it's just all the, you know, all the big name stuff. They used to be, be good when they first came out, but not anymore. It has oat and other fillers in their meat. Yeah, when you hear oat in their meat, something's not right. There's not a lot of meat to these gym mats. <laughs> so what you're saying is we've locked out in Canada with Tim Hortons then? I've never been to a Kent Tim Hortons, so I don't know. Well, it's just quality food they got there. Oh. What would be the American equivalent to Tim Hortons? Nothing? No? Nothing? No response? Okay. I, I will take that as a, a sign. Hey, look at that mess. How's Hurricane on health? Any damage yet? Uh, you are on damage. Am I? Oh, shit. So I'm yeah, looking, he got hit pretty hard. My green bar doesn't show up very well. Natura Evo Cure. I'm gonna die. Tim Hortons and 27 during the, that. Neck Hello, ah. It is time to take right, a break. Donuts, coffee, breakfast, food. Okay, more water so basically, it's up. Dunkin' Donuts of Canada. Your yeah. next break is in one hour. Yeah, but better. Dunkin' Donuts, yes, Dunkin' Donuts. Got a lot of spiders to kill still. Oh, there's some of them that haven't injured the the thorns yet. Well, that one's dead at least. What about five guys? Never ate at five guys. We don't I don't think we have any around here. If I don't think we do. Five guys, that's the the burger place, right? I'm not a big hamburger person, so I don't go looking for burger places. Well, when Mrs. Gimpy grabs takeout food, where should she get it from? Uh, or is it from smaller places type thing? Usually, if, if it's Mexican, they're the local, you know, Mexican places. So it's actually Mexican food. It's not very different quality from Taco Bell. Very different. Because um, it's actually, you know, real meat. <laughs> real stuff. <laughs> Prepared by real Mexicans, usually. So, um that and then other foods as far as like uh, say Chinese or something she kind, she's kind of fond of Panda Express which is okay they're they're better uh, local places but Panda Express is competitive price wise and she knows it she knows the food there so that's why she goes the vendor truck no never buy tacos from a vendor truck that's crazy it's probably no I'm actually not that, doing that bad well, it's perfect if it's right by a bar. Yeah. <sighs> vendor cart? No, not a vendor cart either. Welcome back. Welcome to the stream, Helmet Hair. No, I only get uh, Mexican food from uh, taco shops and that kind of stuff, or restaurants. Mexican restaurants are usually a good place for that stuff, too. Boneless ribs with pork fried rice. Nah. It 
It's too much pork there. <laughs> No, like I said, vendor trucks are, they're, they can be sketchy. That's the problem. A guy in a bike with one wheel punctured. No, definitely don't buy from that guy. And of course, the, what is it? Um, street tacos are always, I always love it. Say, oh, I love street tacos. Really? Where are you getting them from? Because <laughs> street tacos in Mexico are very different than street tacos in the United States. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> All the spiders die. Yeah, those spikes were a great idea. Yep, they're working. Killing at least five of the spiders, it looks like. Six of them, I guess. Oops. We had four in front. Oh, good. Yeah. Good, good. So technically, you're the one that's killing them all. What the hell? I'm rolling! Badly. You're rolling badly. Of course, I'm not doing any better, but... Yeah. Oh, uh, stop. Before you click end. Uh, one to the right and up. Stay close to me so I can block attacks at you. Oh, okay. I forget about that. Hey, dead spider. Does it work diagonally? I think it should. Yeah. Bad luck to kill spiders? Only for the spiders. Try to kill me because I killed all his friends. Finally, it hit. Yeah. Ah See, That's a lot of XP. It is. Has a lot of spiders, that's why. Yep. Where are the crossbow bolts coming from? Is that us? No, we don't have anybody using crossbows. No, I, I'm not using the crossbow. So where are the crossbow bolts? Oh, we leveled up. Yep. Already? There's no campfire, is there? Uh, not in this general area, I don't think. The entrance. Okay, heading back to the entrance. Be careful, though, when you click on stuff. Don't go accidentally down the... where the undead are. Careful, 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 careful! <laughs> don't <sighs> click besides the fireplace, they will run through the undead. No, don't click it. No, what I was talking about is don't click directly on where the fire is because you will not necessarily run through where you want to run through. Well, what I was acknowledging right now. It's a bit roundabout. This is very roundabout. <laughs> but better safe than sorry. And there we have to wait. Who knows? Maybe you just run past those wraiths and they won't even notice you. Okay. Take a break first or level up first? 
probably a break. Yeah, we're almost 10, oh, 10 minutes over. So, anyway, we're going to get up, stretch your legs, get some uh, water and that kind of fun stuff, see what Miss and Kimpy's up to. And uh, when we get back, we'll level up. So, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video.